Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I run a business called Emily G's Photography. Back in 2018 I told you that I would start posting videos and I haven't done so yet because I've been so busy but it's now 14th of March and I'm filming my video. I did film one the other day but I looked back on it and it's really cringy so I thought I'd reshoot it and then give you guys a little bit more information in this one. Um, I am going to be posting up some Photoshop and photography tutorials for you all. That will be on a regular basis from next week. But this video is a little bit different to begin with because I thought that it would be a good idea for you guys to get to get to know me more as a person. So this video is quite a difficult one for me to do because I'm being completely open and really honest and I'm going to be completely myself and reveal something that not many people know about me. So stay tuned to find, what that, find out what that is. The main reason why I've started to do this video now is because I was chatting to someone on Sunday and we were talking about comfort zones and the importance of stepping outside of them. And we were saying about how amazing it feels to build up the courage to do something that is completely out of your comfort zone and that's exactly what I'm doing today by filming this video. I may come across as quite confident but deep down I'm really not confident at all and I absolutely hate filming myself so this for me is a really big challenge and I hope that it goes okay and I don't babble too much especially because I'm going to be talking about something quite personal and something that means a lot to me. Um, so I'm just going to cut straight to the chase and say exactly what was on my mind and I wanted to tell you all that I suffer with bipolar. I was diagnosed in 2015 I think it was and it was a really tough time for me. I was going through a really dark patch in my life and um, yeah they diagnosed me with bipolar, medicated me, started to make me feel a little bit better, a little bit more human um, long after the medication actually settled in because to begin with it's hell makes you feel like a zombie, makes you feel like you are gaining so much weight, makes you feel just really, really horrible in yourself, but then anything's better than feeling the lows of bipolar. One of the main reasons why I wanted to do this video and post it on my photography page is because photography has been my saviour throughout so much of my mental illness. And I often go out of my camera when I'm feeling a little bit stressed or I'm feeling down, or even when I'm feeling really, really hyper and can't concentrate on anything at all. If I go with my camera, it generally kind of snaps me back into place a little bit and I feel a little bit more human. Not just because I see things from a different perspective when I'm looking through my lens, but also because when I am out taking pictures, I'm communicating in a way that I find easier for me to actually express my emotions. So I find it really hard for me to communicate in a verbal way, especially when I'm feeling down because I just end up crying or you know breaking down and it won't be a pretty sight no one will really make much sense out of me, so I communicate often through my photos. That's not really the sort of photos that I post on my page or, you know, photos that anyone can really see because they're personal to me, but it is something that I would like to start posting a little bit more often, which is, again, why I thought it was a good idea for me to be honest with you about what's going on in my head sometimes and to explain a little bit about why some of my photos might be, might be slightly darker than my normal ones. Um, but yeah, so that's me. I am the bipolar photographer. Another reason why I wanted to do this video is because in May I'm looking at starting some mental illness versus photography workshops. The first three workshops will be absolutely free. I kind of want them to be a bit of a meet up so those suffering with mental illness can just sit down, we can have a chat, we'll have a coffee, we'll go out with our cameras, I'll give you guys some tasks and I'll see if I can help you guys sort of communicate in different ways because photography as I've said previously in the video is a really good way to express yourself and that's something that I would like to teach you guys to do and I know that a lot of you guys on here do suffer with mental illness so I hope that I can actually help you and if there is anyone on here that would like to help support the workshop or if any counsellors on here want to come along and maybe give advice to those that are suffering then please do send me a message because all help is welcome and I'd be really grateful for any support. Another reason why I wanted to do this video and sort of raise a bit more awareness is because I see so many people post online videos about mental illness and mental health and I just think that they're all really brave so I just wanted to say well done to all of those that have posted a video and been honest about how you feel and you know constantly honest about how you're feeling all the time really. I just wanted to talk to you all a little bit about me having bipolar because one of the things that I often get said to me when I tell people that I am bipolar is um, people just say oh you don't look sad or you don't look angry or you don't look sick, that's quite a common one. And I just wanted to say to those people that, you know, do think that bipolar is quite a recognisable thing, it's not at all. And mental illness doesn't have a face and you can't see it. So people walking around the street that might be looking like they're a bit down or people looking like they're really happy, they could be suffering from mental illness and no one even knows. 
So I just wanted to say to everyone really is to just be kind to each other because you never know how people are struggling deep down and people often put a brave face on. It's called the clown smile, isn't it? So, you know, people paint a happy face on when they're sometimes feeling really sad. So just support each other a little bit because that's exactly what this video is trying to encourage. It's going to try and encourage people to support each other. For those of you that do attend the workshop, I really hope that you find them helpful and I hope that you find a way of communicating through either art or photography. I am eventually going to have someone who's going to be teaching some art lessons at the workshops as well. I'm in communication with them at the moment. So if anyone's interested in painting as well, that sort of thing will be available to you eventually down the line. Anyway, I'm really sorry that this video has to be so short. I'm actually due to go out in about 10 minutes, but I really wanted to get the video out there and I was feeling quite confident today. So I kind of just wanted to get it done when I'm feeling in quite a good mood and a good frame of mind. So thank you all so much for watching the video and if you are interested in the workshop so if you do want to come along and support the workshop then please send me a message. I'd be really grateful for any support and if you are suffering from mental illness or you have any questions about bipolar disorder please feel free to send me a message. My inbox is always open. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll speak to you all soon.